the results for the elections to the 18th Lok Sabha are still to be finally announced. But one thing is very clear that this has been an extraordinary achievement for the, of the Indian people that they have ensured that the BJP is defeated in the sense that it is well short of a majority on its own. This was the situation both in 2014 and 2019. Their being well short of a majority now means that it will have to be in an NDA government if that is possible. And that will mean relying, relying on various allies of the BJP in the NDA. But that one party dominance and that one party dictatorial rule that was seen by the people in the last 10 years with all the atrocities being committed against the religious minorities, particularly the Muslims, and the assaults on the constitution of India and its secular democratic republican character. For on all these issues now there is a greater scope for popular resistance and to ensure that this sort of trampling of the democratic rights and civil liberties of the people can be stopped or at least intensity reduced. With a strong opposition which the India group parties have shown, which is more than 230 seats in which they are leading at the moment, this will be a parliament where there will be much stronger resistance to the high-handedness shown by the Modi government earlier. So this is one important and the most important aspect of these elections. The second aspect is that it has also shown or demolished the entire myth and the mythology of the exit polls. It is now clear that the exit polls were designed essentially for people to make money in the stock markets. And because of the exit polls, the market shot up on the day one. And once that happened, those who had to make their money, they made their money. And when the actual results come, then you will see the market slumping. So, and various factors, a deeper analysis will be done once we get all the, the full data of, of the entire results. But preliminarily, it can be said that this is a very big significant step forward in the defense of India's democracy, in the defense of the secular democratic character of the Indian Republic, and in the defense of people's democratic rights and civil liberties. Is the people of India, the electorate of India, in fact, who actually voted in these elections, who have to be congratulated for achieving this.